Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Mechanics. We're looking at the 2020 specimen paper for mechanics, question 5. A car of mass 1,200 kilograms is pulling a trailer of mass 800 kilograms up a hill inclined at an angle of inverse sine of 0.1 to the horizontal. The car and the trailer are connected by a light, rigid tow bar which is parallel to the road. The driving force of the car's engine is 2,500 newtons, and the resistances to the car and trailer are 300 newtons and 100 newtons, respectively. Requirement A, find the acceleration of the system and the tension in the tow bar. Requirement B, when the car and trailer are traveling at a speed of 30 meters per second, the driving force becomes zero. Find the time in seconds before the system comes to rest and the force in the tow bar during this time. For requirement A, because I have several forces in play, I'm going to draw a diagram. I'll identify my forces and I'll use the equation force equals mass times acceleration. So with a diagram showing my incline, the angle is given as inverse sine of 0.1. On the incline, I have the trailer and I have the car. Car is 1,200 kilograms. Trailer is 800 kilograms. We have our bar in between. There's a driving force up the plane of 2,500 newtons. Car's resistance is down the plane at 300 newtons. The trailer's resistance is down the plane at 100 newtons. We have a downward force, which is the sum of the masses, 800 plus 1,200 times gravity of 10. And while I won't use the normal force in my calculation, I'll also identify perpendicular to the plane the normal force of R. In A, using the formula force equals mass times acceleration, the motion is up the hill, so forces going up the hill will be positive, forces going down the hill will be negative. One force up is 2,500. Gravity is a force down minus We'll add the two masses, 800 plus 1,200, multiplying by gravity of 10, multiplying by sine of the angle. We don't know the angle, but we do know the sine value. It's 0 0.1. Two additional forces posing the upward motion, the resistances of 300 and 100. These equal mass, we have two masses, 800 plus 1200 times acceleration. Here our acceleration simplifies to 0.05 meters per second squared. To calculate tension, I can either use a calculation relating to the lead particle or the following particle. Sometimes we need both formulae because we're solving for two variables. In this case, we have all values except for tension, so I'll use the formula for the following particle, the trailer in this case. For the following particle, we start with tension and we subtract forces. The opposing forces for the trailer are the resistance of 100 as well as the effect of gravity, 800 times 10 times the sine value of 0 0.1 equal to mass times acceleration, 800 times 0 0.05. So here to show my formula, I have tension minus forces equals mass times acceleration. Tension simplifies to 940 newtons. For requirement B, to find time, I'm going to use V equals U plus AT. I know V, which is zero, that's rest. I know given the information in B that we're starting at a velocity of 30 meters per second, I don't have A. A now is not 0 0.5 meters per second. We have a new acceleration. We're decelerating. Force equals 
mass times acceleration. There's no longer a driving force. We have the opposing force of gravity, 800 plus 1200 for our masses times gravity of 10 times the sine value of 0 0.1 minus the two resistances of 300 and 100 equals mass times acceleration masses of 800 and 1200 times a a simplifies to negative 1.2 meters per second squared and now for the calculation of t v equals u plus a t the ending velocity is zero the beginning velocity given is 30 plus acceleration times time is negative 1.2 times t, solving for t, 25 seconds. And finally, the force in the tow bar during this time of deceleration. Again, I'll use the tension formula for the trailing particle. Tension minus forces equals mass times acceleration. We're solving for t, t minus, we have two forces to subtract the 100 resistance and the effect of gravity 800 times 10 times 0 0.1 or sine value equals mass times acceleration the mass is 800 we've just calculated the acceleration as negative 1.2 t equals negative 60 newtons, which means that thrust, not tension, is in the bar. The thrust is 60 newtons. This completes the requirements for question 5.